Hey, g'day scrappers. Just wanted to talk about computer mice today and uh, the little bit of gold recovery uh, that we can get out of uh, these mice. Uh, a lot of scrappers tend to just cut the cables off and just, you know, throw them away and not really, you know, go for the circuit board because the circuit board inside is just a brown board, so it's classed as a very low grade board. But there's actually a gold uh, plated chip inside most uh, a lot of the uh, mice um, so it just depends on what model it is uh, and stuff but i i find about at least 80 percent of mice will have a gold ic chip now it's not really an ic chip it's just a a um, bit of bonding wire um, sort of joining one side of the board to the other but uh, i'll give you a little look and um, I've got a, a selection of mice here and so we'll, we'll go through some and just have a look at the you know which ones have the gold IC chips and which ones don't so we'll start off how about we start off with this old vintage kind of Microsoft one and I'll just bust her open sometimes they've got a little screw in that you can undo and they open up very easily other times you've uh, <laughs> got to put a bit of work in to, to bust them open I've only got a very small screwdriver with me right now so probably could have done with a bigger one but usually they only take a few seconds to open up and have a look and see whether it's got the gold chip or not okay so our first one um, I can't see the gold chip on this one so I'm glad that there's at least one mouse without the gold chip just to so you can see that there's they're not all they don't all have the chips but we'll just have a look underneath yeah so this one here uh, definitely doesn't have the gold chip oh yeah actually it does have a chip it has ha actually it's got quite a really nice one this one um, so I reckon in the end this this Microsoft the old style will actually probably be the pick of the bunch um, strangely enough because you can see that you can see this uh, you know IC chip here and it's uh, it's got the gold wires or the gold legs all around it you can see the gold panel in the center and if you can see the very fine gold bonding wires so it's very much like a CPU um, so see if I can just take it out get it off the board and we can see what's underneath it okay so underneath we we can't really tell much but uh, there's some sort of coating over the top of it but you can definitely see the the little gold it's almost like a little gold ingot in the center and then you've got your gold bonding wires around the sides and obviously the the legs themselves are, are gold so I mean it's it's not much but it's gold and um, it all adds up you just throw these in with your um, probably a better quality IC chips and um, yeah and then the rest of the board here well it's pretty much nothing really you know we take a bit of wire off all right well let's try something a little bit more regular like this Dell original Dell um, mouse Okay, got two sections to it. Okay, all right. So we'll take our bit of wire. So there we have it there, and that what looks like an IC chip. It's probably technically not an IC chip because all it is is just the the wires going from one side to the other um, connecting up who knows but uh, there it is there so yeah if you can see the gold 
our legs going all both sides so you know when, when we're talking about cpus and other ic chips you know anything with gold legs is you know usually considered pretty high grade but um you know it's only gold plating but these this one's a, probably a bigger one than normal usually they're about almost about half the size but i'll just see if i can show you underneath this black plastic a little bit hard this one probably won't won't turn out well okay so it's just basically just black just plastic and then underneath here we should have this one didn't turn out very good but it's basically just a gold plated plate so you can see the plating here and also underneath here so it's it just fell off um, I'll get a better one to show you but uh, you might be able to see the gold bonding wire that's uh, connected to the legs and that runs through the plastic and um and meets to the other side so all that is gold plated legs and uh plates so yeah that wasn't a, a the best one but we'll just keep going uh, i'll try this logitech so all i'm trying to say is just basically you know if you're picking up e-waste you you um and you get your computers and stuff like that keyboards you're always going to get mice with your keyboards so here's uh, a more of a common one that you'll get is a smaller IC chip there and the actual IC chip now this IC chip believe it or not will probably won't have much gold in there at all it, it might only just be most likely just copper but um, that's okay you can still take them off throw it in with your IC chips we'll just get so yeah this I actual this is the uh, uh, an IC chip and uh, yeah it most likely won't have um, gold inside but uh, still you never know some might now if I can get into this I've still left some wire here so that's obviously you know we want all that gold plated wire if i can get into the middle of this little chip see it's all just plastic i've got pretty big clumsy hands so the more nimble you are the, the better you'll get into these but I don't actually bust these open. I just throw these in with uh, higher quality IC chips. And one day when I do go to process them, um, you know, the gold will come out. But see, there you go there. So that's the main plate. And it's, uh, you know, all gold plated. The wires or the uh, legs are all gold plated. Underneath, probably not. It's most likely gold plating over nickel. But... You know it it is something and uh, instead of just throwing out your uh, mice you know it's always worth going for these little gold chips and uh, you know like this Microsoft one you know this one is you know it's only small but it's uh, it would be considered as very high grade for gold recovery if you had a pound of these you'd get some serious gold out of them let's try one of these Apple mice okay so we've got the ribbon wire with a little bit of gold plating on the end there so you know that's a little bit there for a start and we'll just have a bit of a look and see if we've got any on, on these apples ok 
Okay. So here's our little plastic IC. And um, again, it's got gold legs. It's just a matter of getting them out. Now, over this little thing, this here, it probably is gold plated as well. Sometimes they're just brass, but uh, this one does look like it's, uh, it's uh, gold plated, so we'll keep that. If you put it in with your gold plated stuff and it, and it just turns out to be brass, it's really not going to affect your um, gold recovery anyway. So because these are very soft plastic, they're not like an IC chip, so they're, they don't just come out as easily or as complete. But um, you can see the plate under there and there's a couple of plates. And you can also see that, that wires leading from the legs all leading in. So it's all gold plated there. So yeah, just um, you can just throw them in with your regular IC chips if you like. And it's just going to boost up the gold recovery from your the ones that you know are gonna it's gonna make up for the ones that aren't gold because a lot of these just plain out IC chips don't have much gold in there at all if not some a lot don't have any at all so um, but that's certainly going to boost up your your gold recovery and you'll process them the same way because they're both plastic this is just a softer plastic so that was in the the apple and this green board probably could also go as a mid-grade board um, let's try this Optima it's got a little screw these ones usually open up pretty easily so there we go well so far every mouse that I've done has got a gold IC chip so one more here um, so yeah, kind of the same thing over and over. If I can get underneath, maybe that will show you a little bit better. But it's a, it's a lot softer plastic than your regular IC chips, so it's, it's a little bit different to sort of get into but yeah all that's gold plated and it's all going you know underneath that plastic you might be able to just see a little bit under there but the whole surface area of that plastic has all got gold plating underneath so pound for pound uh, these are actually you know got quite a lot of quite a lot of gold inside them for what they are and um, so yeah, uh, let's try one of these old Genius Pacific types. Okay, so again we've got an IC chip and we've got another very big one here. And you know you can clearly see the gold plated legs. So the gold is going to go all the way through that. So yeah, uh, it's a nice clean removal. So under here, we can remove this bit of plastic and this is a really good example. Um, you can see the gold bonding wires running through. You can see that little gold plate in the center. And yeah, that, that's quite a lot of gold that's kind of similar to this one here and um, so yeah this one 
seems like the older they are, the mouses, the um, the the better the gold plating system is inside. But you know that you add that to your regular IC chips, and that's really going to boost your gold recovery output. Um, yeah, uh, try this oddball. It's just a generic one. No, no real brand. Okay. All right. So we finally got it, and there it is again. So even a, a very basic generic uh, mouse has still got the gold. And look at that, underneath, you can see that nice plating and that uh, the bonding wires running through. So, they really do add up. You know, you get a lot of mice. Over time, you will, um, let's try a, another version of a Dell. And again, once again, a really nice gold chip. If we can remove this base plate, I'm starting to get better at it. Check that out. Right? That's, you know, really, really nice for gold recovery, you know, all that wiring. Um, yeah. You know, why would you uh, throw these mice out when you can, you know, we often pluck out these IC chips and, uh, you know, more than 50% of the time they're not going to have any gold in them, you know, whereas these are pretty much guaranteed, almost every one. Um, I thought it was about 80%, but it's been a, a while since I've, you know, I've got a whole bunch of these mice piling up and it's been a while since I've scrapped them out. And... Um, so yeah, but uh, the ones that I've pulled out have all been, it's 100% so far. I've got another different style apple, the glass. And again, once again, another chip. If I remove these little screws, Okay, so just to give you a little preview underneath, you can see all that nice little gold in there, you know, as well as the legs. So the whole thing inside is um, all gold plated. So there you go guys, that's um, recovering a little bit of gold from your mice. Don't um, discard them, they're all going to have a little bit of gold in there like that and really do boost up your gold recovery for from IC chips so it's just another thing to look out for and it's another thing that um, you know we get gold out of so you know if you look at each thing individually saying oh how much gold is there you know um, and extract rate that's really not the point because when we're scrapping electronics we're getting gold stuff like this from everything you know if we can get that from just one mouse then you know you obviously got the whole pc to um extract gold from so it's uh it really does add up and you just keep putting this stuff away and um you know it might take years but uh eventually you're going to get yourself a a really nice stockpile of gold recovery items where you can you know where it will be worthwhile setting up something and um doing something properly and uh, recovering uh, a whole heap of gold for yourself one day and uh, yeah i don't think gold is going to get much cheaper so it's uh, probably onwards and upwards from here oh well keep scrapping guys have fun keep all your mice scrap them out for your little boards here and i'll catch you next time